Alright, this is the first time I have the camera backwards and it looks straight to me, but we're going to see how it comes out rendered. Maybe this is how people do it. I'm not really certain if this is. It gives a great top view of the gearbox, it looks like. Um, I wanted to go over some rumored, and this is completely a joke, <laughs> some parts that may be going into BrillArmory.com. Um, I heard we're going to have some frictionless uh, bushings. You can see right there, completely frictionless. And uh, the gears are frictionless too. I mean, you can't even hear that. That's just so amazing. This this is going to be at BrillArmory.com from what I've heard rumored, right? I heard the spring guides are going to be cheaper too. They're going to be a two-piece system. You're going to have the bearings and the spring guide. And I'm not sure certain how these are going to go together, but uh, you at least have a bearing spring guide, right? That makes two. Uh, I heard we're going to have brushless motors and I really mean uh, brushless motors so uh, just so we can see here that's just gonna be a great idea I heard that they would have a lot of torque I mean a lot so this is what I've been told <laughs> through rumor um, no really uh, this is just a joke for Brill and um, I want to go over some of the things I did get through uh, uh, Brill. And just basically talk about some of the stuff I did order uh, on the on the products that he does have available. We've got, uh, I believe, if I'm wrong about this, correct me, a ZCI bushing here. This looks to be 8 millimeter, and you can see into the bushing Sorry, I'm just definitely not used to this camera yet being upside down for me. I need to have the spot where you can see it. Alright, let's just go in all the way here. Alright, so you can see inside the inner diameter there is some cutouts. And what that does is it makes it so that it's a little bit more frictionless. Nice fit in there in the G&G &G gearbox shell right there. Wow, that was really good. Um, we can see the gears are pretty nicely fit. They're not real tight where they can't move. Um, obviously, it's tight right now because there are no shims to keep it from grinding with the shell. Um, they do fit nice and flat down. Wow. Um, it looks actually very good. Very, very, very good. Uh, in your shell here. So I have to say that is a plus. Uh, I went over these gears. This is 16 to 1 set. He just got back in some 13 to 1, so if you want them, you better get them. Uh, SHS 2013, I believe, new edition, but these are the 10 tooth, I think. It looks like 10 tooth. Um, there should be some 9 tooth coming up from what I've heard. And, uh, Wow, without any shims, seems pretty good here. I haven't found any fractures on my set. Um, the teeth are a little bit more round on the top of the sector gear here, which is a good plus. It just looks good overall. Uh, the one thing was is that they are a little dirty, and they are, uh, when I look at them, I can't seem to find the fitment. Uh, being bad. It's not bad. Uh, I would look up in the light and look through this and you could not see uh, that they are not press fitted bad anymore on this set at least. So I've had some where you could look through it and that was really bad. Uh, but these don't have that. These are actually seem to be uh, more than decent gears now. And so I'm not exactly sure you know on the screws here I've seen some before are not implanted very well and do not come down uh, down far enough. But uh, this set seems to be very good, the 16 to 1. Now I got a 16 to 1 because they were out of 13 to 1 and what I was I believe Brill said is there's about 10 left. So if you are considering a high speed build and some bushings, nice steel bushings, uh, you may go through Brill and get that. I also got some uh, gearbox screws here and they come with the lock washers and these are Phillips 
That's a really good plus. I believe that was ZCI. Uh, this is Super Shooter version 2 ball bearing spring guide, and it's very uh, solid, I have to say. I believe he said this is unscrewable right here uh, to take this apart. I'm not sure if there's thread lock on this or um, how well these hold up. Maybe, say, a DSG build. I think they would hold very well. They seem very solid. Um, only time would tell, I guess, if they were used. <clears throat> so, things to say about Brill. Um, he really does seem to want to make it accessible to get parts, and especially at a uh, cheap price. Um, I think these are $18 for a set, and that's nothing bad. $9, I mean, when you consider, you know, a set of gears, set of spring, uh, bearing the spring guide, these things can go up in price. Um, bushings, I think, are 5 or 7 I don't remember, dollars. And they are more than decent quality is what it looks like to me, just a little bit above that. Um, I'm not going to say they are overly great uh, because because of the price you get what you pay for usually, but in this case it seems to be better than before. The gears uh, seem to be better than before. So, and just to go over with Brill, I thought that these came with the hex tool, but Brill actually includes this. Is what he's telling me. This is a D type and O type pinion. He has HSA SHS uh, motors too. And I mean that's just great. It gives you the tool. It's something I didn't know makes it great. Um, if you would check out brillarmory.com just just to go over some of uh, his parts and stuff that I have bought. And I you know, I would say that I'm uh, happy about this because I'm used to buying some HS S parts and SHS. SHS just hasn't been working out for me in some cases. I buy something that doesn't come out too great. Um, if you need no ring, you may have those too. I'm not sure if he does the same method I do. I just grab a whole bunch of them, put them on here, and for a long time period, after, especially after they've been heated, these dang things won't uh, shrink. And they give a perfect air seal. No matter what. So, um... Go message him, see what's up. He's on Skype. I don't know if I'm allowed to give that out to you, but uh, <laughs> if, he, if he wants it, we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching this video.